What's up voice tutorial? This is John and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use your own custom Windows 7 themes. I recently figured out how to do this. It's fairly short and simple and so how you're going to start this is you're going to go ahead and go to control panel systems and security and you're going to want to bring this all the way down. This is going to be your UAC prompt that asks you do you want to run this? Are you sure? I just turn that all the way off so that it doesn't bother me while I'm installing stuff. Not necessary at all. Preference. Now, second step, you're going to want to open up whatever web browser you use. Uh, if you're not using Firefox, use it. <laughs> and you're going to see two little options here. Download for Windows 7, download for Windows 8. You know what system you're on, hopefully. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to go ahead and follow through with the installation. You're going to click that. It's going to prompt you with an installation screen. Go ahead and install that. Once you're done, the next step is you're going to want to reboot your computer. Because what this thing is going to do, this is going to run in the background. And when you reboot your computer, it's going to be in your services section. So mark your time in the video. Come back to me when you're done with that. And we'll continue. Alright, so now that you've successfully, re successfully rebooted your computer... The next step you're, you're going to want to do is go to start, search, and then you're going to want to type in services. Whoops. Open that up. I already got it, I got it open right here. And what you should see, sort by name. It's going to be all unorganized when you open it up first. Sort by name. And you should see, you should, if you don't see it, um, that's a problem. But you should. You should see unsigned themes right here. This should be a service in the U section. What that is, is that's going to allow you to drag your themes into your Windows folder, because that Windows folder usually doesn't show up. They don't want you messing with that. That's going to allow you to do so. It's not going to be in your, you know, don't go looking in your computer. Oh, where's my program files, derp? It's not going to be there. It's going to be in the background running. Uh, you can access it from your task manager. This is just an easier way. But, <coughs> That's besides the point. Once that's running, go ahead and just open up your internet browser. This is a theme that I found online. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It's, you know, it's preference. Find whatever you like. DeviantArt is a really good website. They have, like, hundreds of thousands of themes. You're going to probably see the download file here. I'll go ahead and download it. You're going to want, uh, you know, WinRAR or 7-Zip or JZip because it's going to be in a zip file when you download it. You're going to extract it. You know what? For the hell of it, let me just go ahead and do this with you guys. So, oh, browse. You're going to want to find your, wherever you have your unzipping program installed. Go ahead and select that. Open it up once it's, down, down, once it's done downloading. And depending on what the user, you know, how the, how the, the person who made the theme is, uh, this person has it arranged into bottom left, right, top. That that's just um, if you use your, you know, if you have this bar on the side of your screen. People, I don't know, people like using it on the side, the top. That's not me. Um, that ain't my life. But you're gonna go ahead and find the the you know the theme that's inside this whole package here, and you're gonna want to drag these into your Windows folder. Well, John, how do you get to your Windows folder? Well, I'll show you. Great question. Uh, go ahead and navigate your little cursor to start. Near, go to computer, uh, whatever local disk you're on. Minus C. You're gonna want to go to Windows. Now, if you can't see this folder right here, uh, that means you don't have your hidden folders uh, showing. Then you can just Google search that, and you can find it in five seconds. It's easy. Uh, I can't remember where to go off the top of my head right now. But <coughs> so you're gonna go ahead and open that and scroll down to until you see system 32 and go ahead and delete no I'm just kidding don't delete that <laughs> go to resources folder and you're gonna see a folder that says themes open that up and this is where you're gonna drag it in so right here you got your theme you drag it into here that's gonna automatically put it in your theme folder the last step all you gotta do is reboot your computer one more time I know it's a pain and when you reboot your computer you come back it should be, control panel, change the theme. It should be right here. You should see it here. You'll be able to click on it, and you're ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. 
hope you guys enjoy hope this helped if you have any problems leave it in the comment section below uh, I'll try and see try and troubleshoot a little thing some things for you uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't have any problems though it's a fairly simple set of instructions so it's a fairly simple process be sure to like subscribe do whatever you want and I'm out guys bye